Hey everybody. Sorry about the light glare. Um, I just thought I'd do a little bit, a little video on the, uh, here, I'll turn this off. On the shiitake uh, soaking. Um, we have eight shiitake blocks and an 18 gallons, uh, just one of these plastic totes. Um, and there's about nine gallons of water in here. Um, and then we have some weights on it, just a bunch of cans I found in my basement in a clean aluminum tin. I'm weighing down these shiitake so they all sit in there. Um, I, I add about, um, I'd say a quarter cup of hydrogen peroxide into this water, as well as uh, a few tablespoons of Ormus. Um, and I let this soak for four hours. Uh, you can let it soak for up to eight hours. I wouldn't go any longer than that. You might, uh, uh, you might uh, start to get them soft and they might break apart a little bit. Um, but yeah, so we're going to soak these in here for four hours and then I'm just going to take them out, let them drip off a little bit so they're not sopping and then we're just going to stick them back inside the fruiting tent. Um, we do this two times. So the, uh, the initial, uh, the first time when we take it out of the bag, it, it fruits nice. Then we, uh, soak it, let it fruit again, and then we soak it again and let it fruit one more time. And then, uh, we get it out of the fruiting room. And if it starts to grow trichoderma on it, after the first soak, we just kind of get rid of those. Um, but yeah, this is how we sh uh, soak our shiitakes for uh, multiple flushes. If you have any questions or comments, drop that below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, share on Facebook, Twitter, all your favorite permaculture blogs or mushroom blogs. Other than that, it's been another Mycosymbio video. Propagate and mycelium.